Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. With me is Gitanjali Shah, who's Strategy and Policy Coordinator for the ITU. Welcome. Uh, what are your reflections on this week's forum? Uh, thank you, Sam. Uh, you know, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, well, this week's WISIS Forum, uh, you know, is the final week of the uh, process we started in uh, on the 15th of March. So we've had more than 250 workshops since then. We've had more than 30,000 people uh, joining us. And in this concluding week, uh, we saw more than 1,000 people here in Geneva with us. So it was wonderful to meet old friends, old faces, some of the new people we met, uh, you know, during these virtual Zoom meetings. And it was such a pleasure to see them, you know, and uh, be with them uh, to um, concretize some of the uh, uh, things we were working on. Uh, for instance, we started uh, with WHO, uh, our work on alignment with the decade of healthy age the ICTs and older uh, persons track um, with the UN Technology Bank, uh, you know, our ICTs in least developing countries uh, track. So all of it was a great success. Uh, we are very happy with the uh, outcomes. We had more than uh, 40 ministers here, uh, more than uh, 250 high levels here. So it was an amazing atmosphere. It was wonderful to get back to, uh, you know, uh, your community to see them face to face and to continue our work. So we've got a huge mandate. So there were lots of outcomes. We need to concretize those outcomes and start working on them now. And, and as you sort of mentioned there, this is a UN process. How are the UN involved? So um, the WISIS is a UN process, like you rightly said. It's uh, we work with more than 32 UN agencies to implement this process, and uh, different WISIS action lines that form the framework of the WISIS process are implemented by different UN agencies. So, for instance, uh, ITU is responsible for action line C2 on ICT infrastructure, uh, C5 on cybersecurity, and C6 in enabling environment and now more and more on C4, action line C4 capacity building. So uh, we just finished with a, a United Nations group on information society uh, meeting where we concluded that, um, you know, the ONGIS uh, within the WISIS process remains a very strategic and important um, uh, 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 digital uh, component within the UN system wide uh, coordination. So um, WISIS has its relevance uh, as a multi-stakeholder process since its inception. So uh, we have been working on the inclusion of uh, older persons, of women, of youth. We had the WISIS gender trendsetters uh, who came out with their pledges uh, for digital gender inclusion. Uh, so, you know, this whole uh, uh, momentum, uh, it's, it's uh, just so vibrant. And uh, we are now looking forward to implementing all these uh, activities that came forth during the physical week. And we look forward to working with all the stakeholders. And I've been really struck by how enthused uh, the prize winners have been by that recognition from the WISIS Forum, really important to them. Yes, uh, yes, Sam, the prize winners uh, have been really benefiting uh, from this international recognition that they've been getting from the UN. Um, in uh, 2018 or 19, we visited a prize winner winning project in a village in Thailand. And it was amazing to see how the, um, you know, uh, the village economy has benefited from winning the uh, prize. And uh, it was the project was about provision of uh, internet in a village and how the village has benefited uh, from internet. So it's really amazing. Uh, and you know, the whole commitment of the entire stakeholder community, the uh, technical community, governments, private sector, civil society. This year, we, we had uh, tremendous engagement from the academia, uh, from the uh, mayors. They were a new component. We are looking at how um, smart cities and mayors could be involved in this UN process. So several new things, new additions, um, highlighting the fact uh, on how WISIS action lines can help achieve the advancement of the Sustainable Development Goals. 
it's been really great to see that collaboration and the um, the results of what you do actually, you know, in practical, practical use. Uh, Gitanjali Shah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.